Well, let's check out this Lee Pulse 48 volt, 100 amp hour golf cart battery. Okay, it's a good looking battery. 51.2 volt, 100 amp hour, 5,120 watt hours. It's a 48 volt lithium ion golf cart battery. It comes with two sets of terminal bolts, a longer set and a shorter set. Product manual. So far, it looks like a very nice manual, and I saw Bluetooth in there. So this battery has Bluetooth and a service card. 51.2 volts is nominal, 100 amp hour capacity, 200 amp BMS, 5,120 watt hours, and it has prismatic cells, 20.47 inches by 10.59 inches by 8.66 inches. And it weighs 83.78 pounds. Charge voltage 57.6 to 58.4. 4 pack 1S, standard charge currents 20 amps, maximum continuous is 100 amps, and then for discharge 20 amps standard, maximum continuous 100 amps, peak discharge current 500 amps for 5 seconds. Alright, looking at this Lee Pulse 48 volt golf cart battery on the app, showing we're sitting at 47%. And the uh, total voltage is 52.78 volts. Here we've got some temperatures. It's currently around 75 degrees Fahrenheit. And then it shows all 16 cells. So that'll actually make it a 51.2 volt battery. So let's check the voltage with the uh, fluke meter. 52.7 showing on the fluke meter and 52.78 on the app. All right, let's get this connected to a charger and I'll meet you back here when it's completely topped off. We'll do that discharge capacity test. So we're just about topped up on the battery. 16.12 amps of current going in. It's reading 100%. And I really like these batteries that uh, use an app. It just makes it so nice and convenient. It's a little bit cool to here today. I'm in Arizona and it's 69, almost 70 degrees on the battery. I'm using this battery charger I just picked up off of Amazon. It's a Suraziki, I believe is the name. 58.4 volt if you got a one of these 51.2 volt 16 cell batteries to charge. I'll do a review on this charger here before too long. So far I'm really impressed. It's got a real good cooling fan. It's nice and quiet. Got an indicator light on the side here. Flashes red when it's charging. It'll turn solid green when it's complete. And then we'll hook up this Lee Pulse 48 volt or 51.2 volt 100 amp hour battery. We'll do a discharge capacity test on it. And it should be a lot of fun just to give it a real good test and we'll see how it does. So we'll see you back in a few minutes when this battery is complete. And the battery is fully charged. And we're showing here on the app 55.4 volts at 100%. Now if you look on this screenshot of the app once I got the battery fully charged, you can see it says where the finger's pointing there, circled in red, remaining capacity 102.89 amp hours. So that's another benefit as long as it's set up properly, you can keep track of the amp hours just using the app. So on this capacity test, when this runs down to zero amp hours, we've literally ran 102.89 amp hours out of this battery. Okay, here's the setup for the uh, capacity test. I'm connected to one of these reliable 48 volt 3000 watt inverters. And the load is gonna be this air conditioner, which is a uh, Dr. Prepare 14,000 BTU AC unit. And it's getting kind of cool around here, so I'm just gonna exhaust the warm air into the same room <laughs> where the cold air is coming in. I'm gonna turn the temperature down as cold as it'll go, and hopefully it'll keep on running for the duration of the discharge. So we're showing 54.6 volts on the battery. Let's turn this AC unit on. Put it up on AC 60, 61, I guess is the lowest it goes. The fans come on and it just started up. But it'll be really interesting to see how it does. We're showing 102 amp hours remaining. So it's showing that it has more than 100 amp hours in it. And you can see another beauty of having the app. If 
you look right in here, it tells you four hours and 24 minutes estimated empty time. So we'll see you in about four and a half hours. All right, here we are just a little over four hours later. It's been running continuously with the AC unit and it's been continuously pulling about 30 amps. Right now it's at 32.26 on the uh, app there. Battery voltage is 45.76. If you look up there next to the percentage, 4% left in the battery, it says 4.58 amp hours. When that gets down to about 2.89 remaining, we will have pulled 100 amp hours out of this battery. All right, and we just met the 100 amp hour rating. Inverter is starting to complain about it. Turn the inverter off so I can hear myself think and you guys can hear what I'm saying. The Leap Pulse battery has met its 100 amp hour advertised capacity rating. I'll get this all uh, charged back up to 100% and then we'll do a little bit of torture testing on it with this 3000 watt inverter. Let's get started with this torture test. I've got quite a setup here so I'll give you a quick tour. I've got that studio light, that floor fan, the induction cooktop and the 14,000 BTU air conditioner unit, portable air conditioner unit, all connected to this 3000 watt inverter, which is in turn connected to the Lee Pulse battery, this 51.2 volt golf cart battery. In my opinion, these make great power banks or storage for uh, off-grid power systems. Let's turn this fan on high and see how much we get out of that. It's like almost two amps on the app. That's not much. I'll turn this light on. 3.2 amps. Yeah, that's not much. All right, let's start the air conditioner. We'll put that on high. Okay, there we go. It looks like it's finally kicking on. and the compressor just started. Let's bring this up to 19 amps coming out of the battery. Let's we'll start the induction cooktop. We'll put that on high. 2600 watts, 50 amps, 51 amps. Let me go ahead and we'll start the timer. I do have another spot here. Maybe I'll move my other lamp over to that. We'll get about another 80 watts. That's a pretty hefty load. That's just about the max I can do. I think I can do about 62 amps with this inverter. So that's two studio lights. They're about 80 watts a piece. We've got the floor fan. I'm not sure what that is. Not a lot. Induction cooktop on high and a 14,000 BTU portable air conditioner unit. All running off this 51.2 volt Lee Pulse golf cart battery. And that's pulling 60 amps of current out of the battery, 3,072 watts. So we're maxed out on the inverter. Yeah, I'm really liking this Lee Pulse battery. Been doing 12 volt stuff for quite some time and just moved to this 48 volt batteries. And after experiencing the 48 volt battery packs, I think it's just the way to go, especially for an off-grid power setup. If you need quite a bit of power, quite a bit of battery storage. 5,120 watts of, of stored power in one unit. You only need a positive and negative wire coming out of it to connect to your inverter. Not a lot of 12 volt batteries strung together and I just think this is the way to go. Super impressed with the battery so far. I'll put links for all this items into the uh, description if you're interested in checking out more information about any of those and it runs so much cooler than a 12 volt system since it's four times the voltage. 64.8 amps, 3,134 watts. So that's over the rated limit of the inverter. The battery is at 51.01 uh, volts at the moment. Let's see where we're at on our time here. That's been over five minutes. We'll let it go to, I don't know, seven or something like that. All right, there's seven minutes. 
and it's just chugging away with no issues whatsoever. Let's put the app back up there so we can see where we're at. 62 amps, 3,180 some watts. I had a lot of fun doing the review on this battery. If you want more information about any of this stuff, links in the description. Check out the video on the screen if you want to see another one of my videos. And we'll see you over there.